This is the fourth video on the C7 rifle. In this video, you will be shown how to hold the rifle correctly in the prone position, testing and adjusting the position, and correct aim. It is essential that the soldier is capable of firing his rifle accurately and instinctively under battle conditions. This can be achieved easily if the soldier applies the marksmanship principles. The position and hold must be firm enough to support the rifle. The rifle must point naturally at the target without any physical effort. Sight alignment or aiming must be correct and the shot must be released and followed through without disturbing the position. The firer must employ these principles every time the rifle is fired. The basic shooting position is the prone position. This position gives the firer the best support and presents a small target to the enemy while being the least tiring. During conventional range practices, the prone position can easily be adopted by the firer from the standing position. He simply advances the left foot, holds the rifle in front of the body with the left hand around the handguard, and lies down by breaking the fall with the right hand. Note that the flash suppressor must be kept clear of the ground. The body should be relaxed and form an angle of 200 mils with the line of fire. The left leg lies parallel to the direction of the body, the toes turned inward and the leg muscles relaxed. The right leg is drawn up until the thigh is approximately 1600 mils to the line of the body and the lower part of the leg lies parallel to the line of fire. The right foot points outwards with the heel on the ground. By drawing up the right leg, the weight of the body is rolled to the left, allowing easier breathing and less restriction to the heart, which in turn reduces pulse beat. The firer is to adjust the position of the right leg according to build. The rifle is supported by the left hand, holding the handguard and the right hand firmly gripping the pistol grip. The index finger lies outside the trigger guard. If discomfort or difficulty is experienced in adopting the standard prone position, lie slightly oblique to the line of fire with the legs apart. To stand up, place the right hand on the ground and draw the left hand up holding the rifle in the prone position. Holding of the weapon in the prone position must be done correctly. Once the range has been given, raise the large aperture Position the selector lever to R. Lift the rifle and place the butt in the shoulder. The left hand should be as far forward on the handguard as possible. The left elbow is brought close to the rifle without exerting lateral pressure against the magazine. The weight of the rifle is supported by the rear outside of the elbow joint, thus achieving bone support. The handguard should lie diagonally across the palm of the left hand. No attempt should be made to either grip tightly or pull backward with the left hand. It should simply support the rifle and maintain steadiness. The position of the butt in the shoulder should not be too high. If it rests on the collarbone, some pain may be felt on firing, causing a tendency to flinch. The right hand is the controlling hand and must hold the pistol grip firmly. The right elbow must then be positioned on the ground and must not alter the position of the weapon. The grip with the right hand must be unstrained and must pull the rifle back towards a firm shoulder. No attempt should be made to hunch the shoulder towards the butt plate. The cheek and not the cheek bone must be positioned naturally on the butt, allowing the aiming eye to look squarely through the sight. The head must be upright. 
it is essential that the rifle points naturally at the target. To ensure that it does, the firer is to test, if necessary, and adjust his position. Aim at the target, then relax the hold. Re-aim at the target. No appreciable change of aim should be noticed. If the aim does move by an appreciable amount, it is an indication that the position needs some adjustment. To adjust the position, keep both elbows stationary and pivot the body to the right or left as needed to correct lateral movement. For errors in elevation, keep both elbows stationary and move the rest of the body forwards or backwards. To confirm that the position is correctly adjusted, rest the rifle and close the eyes. Keeping the eyes closed, bring the rifle back to a comfortable position in the shoulder. When the eyes are reopened, the aim picture should be on or very close to the aiming mark. With practice, it will become natural to adopt a position that requires little or no adjustments. When firing on conventional ranges, aim at the lowest central point of the aiming mark on a target with an aiming patch. When firing at figure targets, aim at the middle of the target. At ranges in excess of 300 meters, aim high. Knowing where to aim is important. However, knowing how to aim is just as important. Aiming can never become instinctive. It requires concentration to achieve sight alignment together with the correct aim picture, which is a four-point relationship between the eye, center of the aperture, the tip of the foresight, and the point of aim. The procedure for aiming is to close the eye not in use and look through the center of the aperture. Centralize the tip of the foresight. Select a point of aim on the target and focus the tip of the foresight on the point of aim to complete the aim picture. It should be noted that the aiming mark on the target will be slightly blurred. Check that the sights are upright and that the tip of the foresight is still central in the aperture. Eye relief is the distance from the eye to the rear aperture and must remain constant for successive shots. By ensuring this, the size of the aperture remains the same and centralization of the foresight tip is simplified. It is essential that soldiers be capable of firing their rifles accurately and instinctively under battle conditions. This can only be achieved if the marksmanship principles are followed and accurate aiming, alignment of sights, and firm correct holding are practiced and mastered.